Um, we need to swab the patient. Swab for sample. Look at him. He he hot. He burning up. We gotta cool him down. He got the fever. Yeah, take care of him, River. Yeah, open up. Say ah, uh, ooh, River. You don't mess that up now. Look at that. See, he laughing at you for being stupid. You have to do it again now. And how do I transfer patient? I, you just gotta tell them, hey, I want to transfer patients with you, or something. I don't know. Uh, but we did that though. We swabbed them finally. She did it right. Can I tell you that I want to transfer the patient? Transfer patient case. And then we're going to practice. We're going to analyze the sample. And then we're going to practice. So I think that's the machine I'm supposed to be using to do it, right? Yeah. Yeah, tell them, tell them you don't want to uh, have that patient no more while you analyze your stuff. There we go. So we run this through some tests. Find out what's wrong with them. We also got to go back and take his temperature. And we know he hot. We seen it. The steam was literally coming off his body. That's not good. Like, he should be dead. If he was human, he'd be dead. If steam was coming off your body. Because you are that freaking hot and it's that cold in the place. You're about to go into some type of shock. Your body can't handle that type of stuff. And we making the poor man wait like this is normal. <laughs> what did it fail? Why did it fail, River? No, it says complete. Um, it was inconclusive. Ah, oh, okay. So we gotta do more tests because we don't know now. We don't know what's wrong. Uh, when we're done practicing, we could uh, take his temperature. Cause she's not doing anything. She's just sitting there looking at him. Okay, let's. Okay, he's done practicing. So you can go off of there now. And let's go take his temperature because he's hot, clearly. I want to do like real surgery though. Like, I don't know. Are you ever allowed to like literally slap these people on a table and say, I'm about to cut your stomach open? Because I would love to do that. Like, Cut them open and take a baby out their uterus. That sounds like fun. Oh, <laughs> take his temperature. See, we did that good. Chat with patient. We gotta talk to him now. Let's uh, ask about his day. And then we're gonna do another swab. Apparently, he wants to do more swabs. Oh, we can't swab him. We gotta get a new patient. It said check his eyes. We're gonna check his eyes. Oh, he could barely look at us. Well, we gotta do this, man. Don't. Okay, let's do it. Uh, res okay, transfer the files again, and research online. Okay, so let's see. Let's transfer our patient again. We, we just transferred all the patients, and we need brand new patients, too. So I'm going to take you, big booty Judy. You know, I don't know what your name is. What what your name is? Oh, no, she got that same skin EM bacteria. I don't I don't want to look at her. No, we refuse this patient. Um, Who else? Let's take one of these, these chubby children. It's so cute, chubby children. The ghost is haunting the reception desk. Wait, we still talking to him? You need to stop talking to him. Stop talking to him. We were supposed to transfer the patient. And you still talking to this man. He don't care what you do. Did we tell him we wanted to transfer? I don't know if we did. Oh, he can go home. Let's treat him and send him home then. There we go. He can go on home now. And I'll pick... Someone else, new patient. Get ourselves a new patient. See, River doing the damn thing. Oh, and by the way, I realized that other Dr. River was actually another Dr. River that I made. He's just walking around the town. 
And he, that's true. why he looks so much like this river. That <laughs> true that's why you come with me. See, he all sick. Poor chubby baby. We gotta get Sweetie onto the chair so we can start making him feel better. And we can start figuring out what's wrong with him. Because we don't want him to be sick and die. That make us sad, right? So, gotta fix it. We're gonna swab him sample. We're gonna do an online report. They'll probably actually do more stuff. Say ah, say ah. Oh, River, you gotta stop doing that. You wasted hospital equipment. See, there you go, River. You finally got it now. Try to make me look bad. Like, by now, he should be a little bit better at it. Let's, um... We still need to transfer the patient stuff. Won't... Will it not let me? I don't think it will. Ugh. Anyway, let's, um, analyze the sample. And then, we gotta get on the computer to research health reports. I don't know why we can't transfer it. We transferred it before and now said we can't transfer again. I'm not sure why. But we are going to analyze the sample again. Listen. Listen, ghost bitch. You can't just be haunting these people. You're not even taking them because they can't even sit down. They're just waiting on the... Like, what are you doing on the computer? Like, what's she doing? She going through emails? She answering phones like you dead. You're not our receptionist no more. Or is this chick still on the union after she dead so she was able to get her job back after she died? That's crazy. She's like, I don't care about dead. I'm still coming back to work on Monday. And she work weekends. That is a mess. How did this sample go? He ruined it again. He ruined the sample again. <laughs> River is not a very good doctor. I love River, but he's not a very good doctor. Now let's uh, research this report. I'm just going to fast forward while he does it. There we go. Now he's very focused on work. That's good. He wants to deliver medication to a patient. Well, since we ain't fixed him yet, we don't know what's wrong with him. Therefore, we can't just treat him. Let's um, ask him all these questions. And see if we can treat them ourselves, even though they're not asking us to. There we go. Check you out, baby. Found what's wrong with you. What did you find in his ear? He looks very disturbed. See, he burning up. He, he burning up. Poor baby. Come on, we're going to do more stuff to take care of you. See, he's a, he's a very good... He should be a pediatrician. He's better with kids than adults. He should exclusively cheat children. So, River's not actually a bad doctor. He's just not good with adult patients. Plus, they got yucky diseases. Uh-uh, how you come up in here and steal our patient? Dang, he fixed them. We were gonna fix him. Not fair. Well, I'm going to deliver his medication if I can. Oh, hell no. You're not making me leave. We stay at work late. Inoculate for sweaty shivers. So I can't treat him then. I'm going to inoculate him. Remember, were you, why were you in the bathroom? And no one's concerned about the dead chick in the reception area. This damn union. <laughs> Keeping the dead folk around. Can you imagine if River would never get a chance to move up? Because they're still dead people. So, so that don't even count as delivered medication then. Which is totally unfair. Come on, I'm going to start admitting everyone. Because I want to deliver some stuff. And they won't let me transfer. So I can't get ahead on the day. Okay, finally, it let me transfer. I'm crossing you out. I'm going to transfer the patient. Sorry, kids. I ain't got time to worry about it. I need to transfer this uh, patient case thing so I can get more points. There we go. We we transferring it. This like this is like Grey's Anatomy. Most of the doctors are very handsome. Look at them. So proud of themselves. Take um 
patient's uh, temperature. We need a patient. We're gonna take you. No, we're gonna take children because the children are easy to deal with. Listen, lady, you can't show up everywhere. Okay, she show up every damn where. Take the baby. Like, come here, sweetheart. We're gonna go um cure you too. I don't know what's wrong with you, but we're gonna make it better. She's smiling even though she's sick. She's a brave little girl. That's why we love her so much. Get on here, and we're going to see what's wrong. I like her sneakers, too. Her sneakers are cool. There we go. Now, let's see. Let's swab her sample. Let's take her temperature. Yeah, there we go. How you feeling, sweetheart? There we go. What's her temperature say? We got to analyze it, too. Can we uh, check her ears? Yes, let's check her ears. She looks okay. She just, like, sluggish. Oh, we saw it right through her head. I just seen that. He's like, yes, there's nothing in between your ears. Like, you have no brain. That's not scary at all. None of that's scary. Yeah, yeah. See, he gonna try and come and steal our patient. I don't like that. Uh, transfer patient case. There we go. Transfer it. Dang, we only got an hour left, even though we staying late. Okay, we transfer the patient. But look, we got gold for the day. Oh, we can discuss her general um health. Let's do that now. They're gonna send us home in a few minutes, but still, we're, we're trying to get everything done. We gotta analyze her sample. I don't think we'll be able to get it done in time to like fully diagnose and treat her thing all in one day. Could have gone send us home in like a few minutes. Yeah, I'm just fast forwarding. The minute it comes out, I'm gonna try and get him to be able to treat her. Like I wish they had an option to run because he can't run no more. You can, you know. If it come up red, I'm just getting off this thing. Okay, he, he can already tell her what's wrong. He just gotta give her the medicine. Us oh, too late. Ten seconds. Let's fast forward. Okay, he did that at least. But he's not gonna be able to give her the medicine. Nope. Dang it. We almost successfully diagnosed her and cured her in one day. It's not fair. The other guy came and tried to finish it for us because we had to transfer the case because they don't think we a good enough doctor than this dude. And we see River is a good doctor. He just better with children than he is adults. But anyway, his shift is over. He just got a brand new vacation day added and he made $240. Let's go on home. Let's see. We are back home. River is actually okay. He's just a little hungry now. He should, um... Make a quick meal or something like that. Ellie, like, I'm making my own food, too. She getting a cookie. That's what she doing. Ellie, all them cookies is going to your behind. Look at you. Yeah, behind. She's like, ooh, yes. I love these cookies. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> well, I think River's day at work went really good. And it's days like that where things are just really working out. Like, he was doing really good. Like, he's discovering his purpose. And that is making me enjoy the doctor career much more. Um, I still prefer the cop career. I still think that one is, like, really fun. Oh, apparently, she went to work, too, and she made $252. She make $12 more than you, River. Just saying, just saying. I ain't trying to throw it in your face or nothing. And look at them flirting with each other. Didn't I tell you to go make a microwave dinner? You, you better not have left something in there and now it's burning or nothing like that. Because I'll be mad. But look at them. So in love with each other. Can't stand it. <laughs> Let's um. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm sure they want to get all romantic with each other. Look at them. Aww. Aww. Let's see. Let's get them in bed together. Um, 
I'm not pushing for a kid because you know how I feel about the kids. But uh, if if they want to and if they end up getting pregnant, it happens. You know, newlyweds and whatnot. Look at them, so frisky and happy. They're like, oh yeah, because he had a good day at work. And he realizes that kids are what he wants to treat and he really loves kids. So then, yeah, why not go ahead and make a kid? That's right. Call me Mr. Flintstone. I can make your bed rock. <laughs> Look at them. They, they just going at it. And there's no crazy dramatic music or anything. It's just them having a good time. Yeah, y'all two go. <laughs> oh, 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 he itchy now? What's up with that? Why you itchy? What, you trying to say she gave you something? Ellie is clean. She ain't give you nothing. Talking about you itchy the minute you got out of bed with her. What the hell? Shoot. Uh, I have no clue if Ellie's pregnant, but I know she could take a pregnancy test for $15. So let's take a pregnancy test and see if Ellie is pregnant. He's a doctor. He should be able to tell. Oh, she gonna take her drink with her? Lord. Girl. Anyway, let's see what the pregnancy test say. She's drinking her juice and peeing. She need to make enough pee for the pregnancy test, I guess. Um. Yeah, let's see. So, uh, what it say, Ellie? Don't don't keep us in suspense. <sighs> Eating for two. Congratulations, Ellie is expecting. There is going to be a new addition to this household. Ah, Ellie's prego. And she's still drinking her juice. She you should tell... Did she, is, she, is she telling him now that she's pregnant? Oh, she should tell him... Why he run to the bathroom? He don't need to check if he's pregnant. <laughs> I want to tell him. It, it, don't, it don't have the option for me to come out and tell him myself. Or did she do it already? I don't know. But anyways, though, yeah, Ellie's pregnant. Aw, so Ellie, Belly is going to start to get a bit bigger than though. And we thought it was going to be cookies. Nope, it's just a baby. <laughs> and we can't tell him, though. It won't let us. I guess River just going to think, wow, she really is eating a lot of cookies. And we're going to have to be like, nope. Ain't cookies. <laughs>